I'm John Rusho. I'm one of the Patty Course Directors at Dive Utah, located in Salt Lake City, Utah. Today, I'd like to share some tips I have for teaching the Project Aware and Aware Coral Reef Conservation Specialties. So without any ado, let's dive right in. The first tip is to show images from your own dive travel, whether there are still images or video. Show divers the awesome things that they can see underwater, especially on the coral reefs. This is essential to both coral reef conservation and the Project Aware specialty. But in addition to this, in addition to showing them what works well in the coastal zone and what works well to protect the reefs, also consider showing them images where things don't work. In occasion that can be dirt on the beach, trash on the beach, or silt in the water due to coastal erosion and poor management. The next tip centers on how you plan on doing knowledge development for these specialties. With the ebook available now for the Project Aware Coral Reef Conservation Project Aware Specialties, students can download it for free, load it on their iPads or Android tablet devices, they can have it on their laptop. It makes it easy for them to read it pretty much anywhere and obviously a minimal cost. So one of the things you can do, you can still continue to do lectures, just try to make it dynamic. You know, such as having the inflatable beach ball globe that you can toss around when you're going over sections of you know, aquatic regions that are in peril. Alternatively, one of the things you can do for knowledge development is rather than a traditional lecture, is make it a, more of a round table discussion. One of the ways you can do this is just have your project wear materials on your tablet or your laptop and go around and discuss things such as parts of the knowledge review, you can still continue to do things with the beach ball globe, tossing that around to help find regions in the world that are in peril. Just, you know, have some fun with it. Make sure that your course is dynamic and interesting. Now, while you're having these discussions with your students, be sure to talk about the local environment. How does the stuff that they're learning about apply to the local environment? Have there been any uh, ecological problems in your local environment? For example, the same year that the deep uh, water horizon accident occurred, there was an oil spill in one of the creeks in Salt Lake City. So the oil spill really hit home for those of us in Utah. Also think about uh, other ways this affects the environment. When we talk about ways to avoid disturbing the coral reef, that can also apply to things like freshwater environments with silty bottoms. So the project where stuff, while it is definitely geared towards the marine environment, can also be adapted to the freshwater aquatic environment as well. And don't forget the aquatic cleanups for these environments too. So those were a few quick tips on how to improve your project aware and aware coral reef conservation courses. Remember, use images from your own travel and your own diving experiences. Make your lectures more of a discussion and more dynamic, and be sure to talk about the local environment. If you have any questions, feel free to visit us at DiveUtah.com and you can contact me directly, john at webscuba.net.